Coco bundle is now available for the download. A lot of you have been asking about it and here it is finally. It's a bundle with a very unique design. There are 9 homepage designs, 12 inside pages, a lot of modules too. Now let's take a look quickly at the home pages, just so you can see how really nice and interesting and as already said unique design uh, this bundle has. You are simply going to love this. If you have already downloaded uh, Kakao bundle, let me walk you through the installation process. First thing we are going to do is we are going to install the assistant plugin and then we are going to import all the Coco layouts. Go to plugins, then click add new. Click upload plugin and then browse. Navigate the file you downloaded and unzip it first. Then inside that zip find Coco assistant plugin zip. And this is the assistant plugin that you're going to install. Click the install now button and wait until the plugin has been installed. And of course uh, make sure to activate the plugin. Also, Coco Assistant requires an API key uh, that you need to activate. To do that, click click here uh, link. Here you want to add API key and API email. And if you don't know what your API key is, you can find it uh, when you log into Dividend.com website under My Account API Keys page. Once activated, you'll be taken to Get Started tab. Uh, please make sure to watch all the videos that are recommended here and also uh, go to our knowledge base You're going to find a lot of useful documentation there system status and troubleshooting tab is uh, Basically a table where all your server settings are listed and it's important to have ok status for all the configuration options uh, That you see here if you see a warning sign instead of ok status uh, you can contact your hosting support and let them know about it. Let them know uh, what exact configuration options you see the warning sign for and what's the recommended value so they can fix it for you. And also there's a help tab where you can submit your support requests. Next thing we want to do is to go to Divi, Divi library and import all the Coco layouts. Click import and choose file. Navigate again to files you downloaded and this time select master JSON file Click open and import button. This might take you a couple of minutes There we go Now let's just go to our page. Uh, let's for example add a new one Coco example page uh, Let's of course use the DV builder to load a complete page layout, you want to click Load Layout here. Then select your saved layouts and choose any of the Coco uh, page layouts you see here. Let's for example choose this home page. Just for the sake of a test, let's update the page and uh, have a quick look. And there we go, there it is. Uh, if you would like to load an individual module or section instead of the complete page layout, you want to click add from library. Uh, select Coco collection from here and uh, once again you can click on any of these modules to load it on a page for example this one and it's automatically uh, loaded onto the page. Another way to use Coco modules and layouts is using Dividend on demand plugin. You can find it on our website under Divi plugins page and it's a plugin you can download for free. And once installed and activated, go to Settings and click Dividend on Demand. You'll be taken to this dashboard where you can browse all our layouts. You can choose between free and pro layouts. And to browse only Coco layouts, uh, toggle new collections and make sure to check Coco collection. This is going to list only Coco uh, layouts and modules. Also, while you are on the page, let me show you that as well. Uh, for example, if you click Add from Library to load, a la to load a module, now you will also have this Dividend on Demand tab and you're going to see the same interface with the filters options on your left and all the layouts on your right. So just select the Coco and you're going to be able to load the modules uh, from here. This way you don't have to import any JSON files and it's much easier 
uh, to find the exact module or layout you're looking for and to load it onto the page. That's it for the installation tutorial, thanks for watching.